thank you everybody and good morning and uh, welcome to the Dinker Park uh, Recreation Center and Neighborhood. Uh, I'm proud to be here this morning as the council member representing this area. My name is Marquise Dawson. I represent the 8th uh, Council District. I'm really excited today we're making an announcement about uh, not just cool pavement that we started a few years ago doing around the city, uh, but this announcement is about cool neighborhoods. So that means pavement, sidewalks, streets, uh, watering schedules, making our neighborhood a cooler place to walk in. And so we know in this neighborhood, we've got Dinker Park, we've got Martin Luther King Park, we've got Fauche Learning Center, we've got Martin Luther King Elementary. We want that whole area to be a place where it's a cooler, more pleasant uh, place to walk. And so uh, this event, uh, for all the folks that you see here today in the yellow vest, um, this event on paper is about pavement, uh, but for me as a representative, it's about people. So it's the people that wake up every morning trying to figure out how to make our communities better places to live, how to make our communities safer, how to make them more walkable, and make them more like the places our folks deserve. Our folks get up and work uh, hard every day and go to school and work hard every day, and they deserve great neighborhoods. And the cooling program that, that the Clean Streets Movement is putting on is one of the best examples that we can do of doing that in a physical way. And so with that, I want to uh, introduce the leader of uh, the Streets LA Department and the Streets LA Movement, uh, our one and only, uh, I'm, I'm going to call him a homeboy, uh, even though that's politically incorrect, because uh, this is his neighborhood. Uh, as much as it is anyone's, our general manager, Mr. Keith Mosey. Thank you. I have to show you uh, a photo of my grandfather, Santa Los Alamo Expo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> in the 30s. Wow, in the 30s. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Keith Mosey, the general manager for Streets LA. Um, as we look at, you know, neighborhoods, we look at everything holistically. In cooling a neighborhood, we look at that as equity, an equity issue. And we like to combine, you know, not only cool pavements, but, you know, trees for shade and everything like that to cool down neighborhoods. We also look at cool pavements as a pavement treatment. You know, we're doing a study on that to see the benefits of cool pavement. Not only does it cool the, you know, cool the street, cool the area, but it also preserves the pavement because it keeps the pavements from heating up and the oil is getting volatile. I won't get too nerdy on that. But basically, we'll get a good return on investment on our street infrastructure just by applying these coatings. And so the future for Streets LA is to do more of these type neighborhoods, put, putting these down. So when we come into neighborhoods in the future, we'll do these sidewalks, we'll do the access ramps, we'll plant trees, we'll do some other things, we'll pave the street, and then following, at some point, we'll come in and put in cool pavements uh, throughout as a regular pavement treatment that we do. Right now, we're spending about you know $4 million annually. We just uh, received... Uh, two million dollars in earmarks for some more cool pavement projects, which is the future. You know, sustain up uh, the sense. Excuse me. Sustainability is a future for Streets LA as far as we look at the environment, we look at biodiversity, we look at things that basically help, you know, sustain the community, the neighborhood in LA. So this is very important to what we do, our work. We want to basically, you know, cool neighborhoods, be, you know. Uh, environmentally friendly, reduce our carbon footprint. We want to work with you know, electric vehicles as part of you know, what we do. We want to inspect the streets, you know, repair the streets with zero emission type vehicles. And cool payment is just another element of our sustainability efforts. And so we'll be doing a lot more of this. But I'd like to uh, thank our Streets LA team you know, that you know, basically is doing this work, our enforcery uh, folks, our engineering folks, and our street maintenance division, um, headed up by Craig Shaw, and our enforcement division headed up by David Miranda. So thank you for the work that you're doing. And with that, I'll turn it over to our Assistant General Manager, Chief Sustainability Officer, Greg Spots. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Council Member. Um, you know, urban heat is a public health issue. This neighborhood, the number of 95 degrees or hotter days per year is going to double in the next 20 to 30 years. And as we use data to help us plan where we do these cool neighborhood projects, one of the things we look at is the tree canopy. And a very sad thing about Los Angeles is the places that were redlined in the 1930s are the places with the lowest tree canopy today. We literally have like a 90 year legacy of disinvestment from that redlining. But we're doing something about it. We're using tree canopy data, heat island data, 
uh, public health access, uh, you know, and uh, population vulnerability data, and information uh, like Calenviro screen that identifies communities that historically have borne more than their fair share of environmental uh, hazards. And that's how we're choosing these projects. We have a whole team uh, that we call the cool team at Streets LA of uh, engineers, landscape architects, maintenance folks, tree folks, uh, all working together on developing these projects. And um, we're very excited that um, the particular coating we're using here, the GAF Street Bond, uh, we drove down the price of this coating by more than half by demanding that the contractor come up with a mechanized way to apply it. So you're going to see a large uh, tanker with a spray bar on the back. It used to be that this material was hand applied and we're able to get a very precise and efficient uh, application uh, using this machine. They just got a second machine this week. So yesterday, um, the two machines were both working and we did 100,000 square feet of coal pavement in one day. So congratulations, you guys. One more person I want to thank is Jimmy Hawkins over there, Supervisor Jimmy Hawkins. He is leading two of my personal priority programs at the same time. He's doing cool pavement during the week, and he's doing bike lane resurfacing on the weekends. Wow. And he's really single-handedly making Los Angeles a better place. So thank you, Jimmy, for everything you're doing. Sorry.